Hi, my name is Kyle Green. I'm going to be your son or daughter sculpture, studio photography, advanced photography, studio media arts, or portfolio prep class this year. Um, welcome to Open House 2021-22. Uh, just to give you a brief overview for what I'm going to show you, we're going to go into the classroom, show you what it looks like from my perspective uh, in the Google Classroom. I'm sure most of you guys are pretty familiar with Google Classroom by this point. Um, and then I'm going to show you some walk arounds during class times uh, during the school day so we can see what it will look like, you know, what it is like for your son or daughter here at, uh, in a class uh, GHS. So here we are in the Google Classroom. Um, this is what it looks like from my perspective. You can see the different classes um, that I have here. So studio photography, portfolio prep, studio media arts, sculpture, this photography club, and then art club I also have this year. Um, for an example, if we go to say studio and photography class, you'll see upcoming work it says no work due soon. I think this one project they're working on is due next week. So then on the stream, you can see the projects we've done. Um, and it links, for instance, here's an in-class assignment that we did, just a little history on photography. This one says uh, photography processes series chapters one and two. So if you click on the assignment, everything's in the classroom. So you can see 33 people turned it in, three people still need to turn it in. This was due last week. Here under the instructions, you can see watch chapters one and two from the links. We actually did this in class. And then, you know, if you go to the actual page, they can then answer the questions um, in the page, which I believe maybe went to the, the link to the video is right here. So if you clicked on this, um, it'll then go to the actual video and start. So everything's there that you would need. I mean, I've always used Google Classroom for the past probably five years. So it wasn't a huge deal for me to go completely remote, but now I make sure I have everything um, remote for when, you know, a student might be absent or maybe out of class or they need to, you know, they want to do it on their own. It's all there. So here we are back to the classroom. Right now they're currently working on project two, black and white, so everything's here. If you went to the black and white assignment under the instructions, you can see I have some readings that I had taken pictures of and actually put in the assignment. They also have the books in class. Here's a value chart talking about high contrast, low contrast. Here's the project outline. So this is where they could actually go and see you know, the whole project laid out. And then here's a YouTube demonstration video that I did the same way I'm doing this with the Loom video. I do a YouTube demonstrations. Um, I also created a YouTube page last year that you can link from most classrooms. It's more photography based, so it has more of the photography um, demonstrations on there. Like for the sculpture class, for instance, we do most stuff you know by hand in class. But if you were interested, and I'll also actually post this open house video to the page as well, but here's the YouTube link for the photography teacher channel. So you could click that. You can see here, now here's the YouTube page, the pause it because it goes right into a, a demonstration, but you can see here different assignments. Here's some different links to other um, YouTube, really great informational photography, film, video, media pages, which I find pretty useful. I'm sure they have their own probably that they like, but I try to encourage, you know, um, some professional artists work here. So this is the classroom. The grades will obviously transfer over from the Google Classroom. So as I put the grades into Google Classroom, luckily they now link to the eSchools, which is a really good thing because when I go to an assignment and I go to my classwork, if you go under classwork, you can see where all the assignments are. They have this many so far in photography. The project two is due October 8th. So it's, you know, next week. When I put it in here, and then I haven't linked them yet, but eventually I'll link all the assignments to the eSchools, probably the next like week or so. All the assignments that start up, I then put the assignments into eSchools, and then you actually can link the classroom to eSchools. So once I graded an assignment here, it'll automatically update into eSchools. You can see in live time from the Google Classroom, which is obviously where most teachers are working their current and updated assignments, if they have it turned in or if they're missing it. It's a good way to keep track of that. So that's the Google Classroom. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this at this point. I'm now going to, in a minute, switch over to some in-class videos, kind of just walking around, showing examples of the kids working in class uh, during a regular school day. So you can see that. And I go through each class. Working on our portrait projects, 10 elements and principles. Then we will go over and begin working on our editing on the computers and both. Wait, I need to get closer to you. Here we are in studio and photography class, working on our portrait projects. 
Here we are in sculpture class where students are working on their first larger sculpture using wire. Here we are in Studio Media Arts where kids are working on portrait projects in photo booths and working together. And here we are in portfolio prep class where students are working on individual projects that they have come up with in looking at their own portfolios and seeing what else they might need um, and strengthening their overall portfolio building for upcoming college applications or future portfolio. Working on some interior design spaces, exterior architectural works, architectural designs. Photography works. Animation. Working on the timeline. Acrylic hand painting. Some more animation. Character design. Shooting to go digital. Design hand painting on board. And some digital painting with that nice apple pen. to conclude what I have for you here tonight. Um, if you should have any other questions or concerns throughout the year, you can always email me at my school email, which is greenk at gilderunschools.net. That's green with an E, K at gilderunschools.net. If you had any other questions, you could stick around after the video is over in a brief moment. Otherwise, thanks for coming. Have a good night. Good night.